In the three years that we've owned this camper, we've tried a lot of things to make this camper more stable. and We weren't very happy. Until now, we have a quick and easy DIY that's shown us huge improvement. The first thing we did was remove the stock stabilizers and replace it with these easy lift ones. The stock stabilizers were rated for about 3,000 pounds, and within six months they were already starting to rust up. So we bought the easy lift model, and in two years we've had really no issues at all. Now those stabilizers did make a big difference, but it was the DIY we saw online involving 2x4s and ratcheting straps that made the biggest improvement so far. This is the second trip we've had with the new setup. Now we're going to go over the materials, the fabrication, and the install. And at the end, we're going to run a few tests. For tools, I used a chop saw, or a skill saw, a drill, and some drill bits. We purchased one 12-foot pressure-treated 2x4, four threaded eye bolts, four galvanized washers, and we already had some ratcheting straps. First, we determined how long we wanted the boards. We read that roughly one and a half times the height off the ground is the optimum length. So we settled at 31 inches and cut four boards at that length. For each board, I used my chop saw to cut one end at 45 degrees. On the other end, I cut both sides at 45 degrees and created a point that will sit under the frame. Next, I drilled a hole through each board for the eye hook. I measured roughly half the way up the board. For us, that was about 15 inches. Then I pushed the bolt down through and attached the washer. Tightened up the nut and that's it. Step one, we're gonna take one of the four that we've built, put them under each corner of the trailer, making a point to make sure the eye hook is facing inwards at all four points. Okay. Next, we're gonna separate the ratcheting strap, taking this hook and placing it into the eye that faces inward on both sides. Run it through the, the cam gear here and tighten this up. We tightened these up until they were just snug. As with stabilizers, these are only to stabilize the camper, not intended to level it. We always put the stabilizers down as well, but for video purposes we left them up to give a better look at our DIY. Okay, so let's take a look at some comparison testing. So that's it. 
Guys, for $30 front and back, I'm absolutely amazed at the difference it makes. It's one of the biggest bangs for the buck we've ever got with any of our mods. If you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe. And remember, Desi always wants you to hit that notification bell.